The method feeder is a deadly tactic when you're fishing on commercials for carp, F1s and bigger bream. And I'm going to show you how to set up an inline method feeder rig. It's a very simple rig, but there's a few ways you can actually get it wrong. So I'm going to show you a really effective way of actually setting up this rig. It's dead quick. It can be done in seconds. And you'll notice whenever you get a Guru hybrid feeder or a method feeder, it comes with an inline stem. And that's because the majority of the commercials that you'll be fishing state that you have to be using a free running method feeder rig. And these stems literally pop on and off. You can either put a smaller one or a longer one if you're gonna be casting at distance. Um, but usually the stem that comes with the feeder is usually the perfect like length as such. So what you need to do, first of all, you need to get your reel and get your rod Put your reel on your rod and pass your main line through the eyes of the rod until you get to the end piece. So imagine your quiver tip and all your guides are here. This is your end piece coming out of the end of the rod. And this is your main line. And what you have to do, what I like to do anyway, is get a pair of scissors and I always make a clean cut in the main line. Depending on if, even if that's a thin line or a thick line, just makes passing this line through this stem a lot easier. So this is the end piece of your main line, and all you have to do now is pass it through this pointy end, which is your tail rubber. This is the weight forward as such. That's what needs to go towards your hook length and your little speed beat, which I'll talk about in a second. So you get your main line and pass it through the tail rubber and then through the main stem. And as you can see, that's why I like to make a nice clean cut because you're done in seconds. You can literally pass it through. So that's a free running feeder on the line as such. Then I'm gonna pop my feeder down. And what I like to do now, which I referenced earlier, is get a speed bead. I always like to use a speed bead whenever I'm fishing a, like a free running method feeder. The reason why, it's just dead quick, dead easy, and uh, it's so easy to attach your hook lengths to. So the speed bead, if you're not familiar with them, actually comes in two sections. There's this little rubber part here, and then there's a swivel section. That's what you attach your hook length to. And the rubber part is just to like protect your knot as such and then puts a little swivel inside it. So you separate the two parts and I like to get the rubber section of it, the, the fat end if you like, and you get your main line which you've cut with your pair of scissors, pass through the feeder and I put it through the thick end of the speed bead like that. So that's running again. And then I tie a Palomar knot in the thick end of the swivel. So this is the long pointy end, which is gonna be attached to your hook clamp to, and this is a swivel section which you can attach your main line to. So all I'm gonna do for the Palomar knot, create a loop in your line, pass the loop through the thick part of the swivel, and then create another loop, which will dangle your swivel and your hook clamp section to. Twizzle it once and pass your main loop through that middle section, followed by your swivel. It's quite a fiddly knot, but once you get it bang right, I have found there's no stronger knot. It's brilliant. It's all I use for any sort of swivel attachment now. And just keep pulling it down, keep pulling it down, give it a little tweak, nice pull down, and then give it a real good pull, make sure everything's nice and tight. And now get your pair of scissors, and trim that tag close to the knot, not too close, just leave a couple of mil and you'll be left with the swivel and the little hook length hook uh, on the main line. And all you have to do now is get your method feeder and your bead, pull it down so it literally clicks in place, you could have heard that. And that's the end part. So you've got your method feeder, little speed bead and your hook. And all you have to do now is get your hook length. I like to use a four inch hook length majority of the time whenever I'm fishing on a commercial. If rules state, sometimes I fish a three inch, but four inch will be perfect really. And all you have to do now is get your hook, hook length and pass it through the speed bead section. And then it literally just pulls in place like that. It literally locks in place. And you'll see it's dangling like that. And all you have to do now is just Grab your main line and your feeder and just pull down on your main line and it just locks in place like that. So your, your speed bead goes into the rubber section. So it just protects your hook clamp from coming off. And 
That's the most effective way I've found of attaching the hook length to this BB. Just give it a little pull down, make sure everything's nice and tight. And as you can see, that is the finished article, a free running method feeder rig. So just a little recap, got your main line, pass it through your rod and your, uh, pass it through the guides of your rod, put the main line through the stem, which has got your tail rubber on. So your, your front end first is going to be towards the hook. Got your speed bead there, attach it the way I showed you, put it through the main rubber section, tie a Palomar knot to the swivel, attach your hook length and you're away. The perfect inline method feeder rig.